Hey everyone, how's it going today? I'm going to show you 8 tips and tricks in Minecraft that you might not know about. Let's get started. So the first trick on our list, I guess I'll call it the obsidian water trick or obsidian diamond trick. It just pretty much has to do with lava and water. So when people are trying to get obsidian and diamonds and stuff, you know, it's pretty risky because you can lose items, well you can lose your life in lava but also your items so a lot of people don't put water down which they should but you don't just put it down because you can actually so it only flows like a certain amount of blocks so if you put it down right here so say it only reached like seven i think it's seven to nine blocks or something like that and you can actually fall in lava so what, what, I, what I usually do is just mine out some blocks and mine out this part as well and just put some right here there we go so like a little little hole and torch it up so this water will be flowing and, and watch this water is always faster except for the nether and there's you can't even water in the nether but in the overworld water is always faster than lava it will always reach the place before lava so let's mine these diamonds out and see see let's see this see we those those diamonds would have been gone but since we have this water thing going this water flow everything that you mine will be safe so I don't know, it's pretty it's pretty obvious but most of these things are pretty obvious but I don't know I don't see a lot of people doing this and you know all you have to do is place water down kind of block yourself in and you won't lose any diamonds or obsidian so the next thing on this list has to do with chests and more storage so as you can see I have chests here and you obviously cannot place them side by side to each other because you know Minecraft doesn't allow that well, you can't place double chests, what's what I mean, uh, besides, so you have to leave a space, or it looks kind of weird, but as you can see right here, two chests beside each other, and you can might be you might be able to notice the difference, and as you can see, like, on here, and there, it's kind of like reddish, well, this is a trap chest, and this is just a normal chest, so, normal chest, trap chest, and the cool thing about these things is that you can actually place them, so, this is a normal chest, you can't place it but trap chest you can I don't think you can do it with you can't do trap chest and trap chest but that doesn't matter so the only difference is these there's a little different so this is a normal one okay so just like the the lock different colors and it, it really it doesn't matter same function same thing so and it doesn't even say ch a trap chest just a large chest so yeah uh, if you want it I mean this isn't even that bad like putting next or having a like gap between and you can stack them on top but it's a little cool little thing so yeah it actually can give you more storage if you want so yeah it has to be it can't be trap chest and trap chest it has to be normal chest and trap chest beside each other and uh yeah that's just more storage and it actually is really helpful and i think you can even put them on top yeah so there you go works pretty well so this trick we'll call it the stone quartz trick now that's a, st it's a stupid name it's just a really useful trick okay so block of quartz you can make slabs with them and can you make stairs I don't really use quartz to be honest and you make stairs with them and same goes for stone bricks but what you can actually do is use the other one so chiseled, chiseled quartz you can actually make slabs with just the, the variants of them so you don't have to use just the original quartz or the original stone bricks you can actually use the other one, so chisel and pillar, and then crack stone bricks and chisel stone bricks. And that's not even the coolest thing about this. You can actually mix them up. So say you have just like some laying around, and you want to make into slabs. You don't have to use just one. So here we have all of them. So block of quartz, chiseled quartz block, and pillar quartz block. And there you go, quartz slab. So yeah, we'll make like kind of the original, what the original would make. So how like this would make just um quartz slabs so it won't make like chiseled quartz that's hard to say chiseled quartz slabs it will just make normal quartz slabs and same goes for stone bricks so we'll do that real quick there we go so just yeah just normal stone bricks so say you ran out of just normal quartz you can just use pillar quartz and it's actually it's pretty useful I don't really build with stone brick or quartz but if you do I mean there you go and that is number three 
So the next one on the list is a pretty short one, but instead of feeding your dogs meat like cooked cooked stuff, or you can feed it raw stuff, but instead of, instead of sacrificing your food to feed them, you can actually use rotten flesh. So that actually just oh, For some reason my particles are being weird, but yeah. So they were actually were healed already, so they're actually gonna have a puppy. So you can breed them that way. You can heal them. For some reason the particles aren't showing up. Maybe they're set it off. I'm not sure. But, and you can heal it with it too. And so if I give us like, see, you can, as you can see, it's like using it. But yeah, you can just use, I believe it's because their immune systems uh, are better. So yeah, they're immune to rotten flesh. That can be a huge assumption and I, guess I could just be a random thing in the game. But what are they doing? Oh, they're chasing after a skeleton or something. But yeah, so instead of risking your food, you know, say you're running low on pork chops, you're like, oh, do I feed my wolf? What do I eat? Eat this and use rotten flesh to feed your dogs. The next trick on the list is the hidden button. Can you find it here? Possibly because there's just a random banner chilling here. But you need a banner and a button and you can actually hide buttons behind banners. So right there. And this works well if you have say like stone button on stone button or wooden button on like wooden block, uh, wooden planks. That would be pretty good. But for this example, I think it's better to use on stone, just so you can put it like in random caves. And this isn't hooked up to anything, but you, I really believe you can press it. It's hard, like, yeah. So you can press it in, and I'm, I, I suck at redstone, so I'm not going to set anything up. But, you know, you can do some crazy stuff with this. So all you need is a banner and a button, and you just place the button at first, and then there you go. So not only is it hidden, but it actually works, so past this hitbox and and you can do something crazy with that I cannot like I can barely make like a simple like redstone door mechanism like I suck at redstone but you can do something crazy with that and yeah this one's extremely simple but I mean if they're not looking say it's in a cave or something actually I don't know if you had a banner in a cave but anyways think of think of a situation where you'd have a banner somewhere and this is pretty good thing. Like, I probably wouldn't think to look behind a banner and find a button. So yeah, that's pretty much it, but it's simple but effective. So I think if this is the sixth one, I don't know, I did I did a lot so far. I was planning to do like five, but I was like, you know, I could fit some more in. So let's assume this is the sixth one. I hope I'm correct. Anyways, this is the floating sand and gravel trick, but a lot of people a lot of people know about this one. But a lot of people don't know you can use it with concrete powder and red sand which has the same properties as sand and gravel so I mean you could easily figure it out so yeah, all you have to do is find one of these two right I think there's only two of these that really work tall grass doesn't work but this is the peony peony probably pronouncing that really wrong and the lilac lilac all right let, let's let, let's just let, let it slide if I pronounce it wrong but it doesn't work on tall grass unfortunately but if you have just some flowers laying around, sand works, gravel, and red sand, and then white concrete powder works for all the concrete powders. But yeah, the ones I saw, people were showing off just like the sand and the gravel. But yeah, other things, same property. So if there's other blocks like this, not sure if there's, I know all the concrete powder works, but if there's other blocks that have, other blocks that have the same properties as the blocks right here, then it will work. And this is useful, I guess, well, it's pretty cool because you can just go like this and then it floats. That's like the whole point of it. But yeah, and I guess if you just mess with it, it'll obviously fall. But you can make some pyramids with the sand. I think you can. That I, I wouldn't risk it because I probably messed it up. But yeah, there's just multiple things you can do with this kind of stuff. Can you actually stack them? No, you can't stack them. But yeah, so you can just have floating things. And you know, you can actually make some traps with these for your friends. And then once it's activated, suffocate them but yeah a lot of people do it with just the sand and the gravel but you can actually do it with everything that has the same properties as sand and gravel so this one is probably the dumbest one on this list the dumbest i guess it's the trick eh, it's not really a trick but you can actually fish and sleep at the same time and i didn't know about this i doubt everyone or anybody knew about this like a lot of people could but i mean i don't think they would really do this 
but for some reason whatsoever, you can actually fish or throw the bobber in the water and sleep at the same time. Extremely pointless, but it works. And I just found out about this and I was like, what the... Oh, and there we go, we caught a puffer fish. Really there's no point in this, but uh, I mean, if you learn something new, then I guess... Really, this is extremely pointless. Okay, so for the last one on the list, I believe this is eight. I only wanted to do five originally, but kind of got carried away. For this one, you need the elytra and fireworks. And obviously, you can just use these like this. But you can actually use it in the water. And this is useful because, I mean, you don't need like depth striders to move quick. You know, you can just go in the water and use them. And all of this is like intentional. But I mean, you can just spam them. And if there's a giant ocean you need to get by or get through and you don't want to use a boat, I mean, you can fly over it. But, you know, say you get stuck in here. Oh, crap. Well, it actually works in the water. Well, if it's activated. If it's not activated, you know, you can just step on a lily pad and kind of cheese it. There we go. And this is useful, obviously, in, like, giant oceans. This swamp, not, not, not so much. But, yeah, you get it. I don't know if this is, like, meant to be in the game. But whenever I see people use elytras, they're always flying up above. But if you're in the water and you want to use it to, like, I don't know, get past temple or something, I don't know. You can use it any way you want, but, yeah, it actually works. And try not to hit the ground or it will, uh, not work anymore. <laughs> but let me try this one more time. Activate it. Yeah, see, there we go. And you can explore the depths of the ocean, which is fireworks and the elytra. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, or you found a tip or trick that you did not know about, then leave a like down below and subscribe to join the Bomb Squad today.